There are a couple different ways to grow tomatoes. One of them is just to let the tomatoes grow on their own, and that works pretty, pretty well. The other school of thought is to prune your tomatoes. Look over here at this plant here. These are unpruned tomatoes. But in a tomato plant that's being pruned, all of these sucker shoots here, this is one here, it's a shoot growing up between a main branch and a side branch. That gets broken off, it comes off very easily with your fingers. Now we can show you a tomato plant over here that has been pruned the entire growing season so far. These, these plants in this row have been pruned. And you can see how, how much um, more space there is between the, between the branches and how much light and air can get in there. It keeps the plant from getting too ruly and overgrown. Uh, it provides air and sunlight, which reduces the amount of disease problems that you might have. And it also allows for larger tomatoes, uh, because there are a few of them. You get the same poundage of tomato if you have larger fruit and higher quality fruit. But it's something that once you start, you'll have to keep going through the rest of the season. Now we're going to talk a little bit about cucumbers here. If you notice there's a lot of yellow flowers on them. Everywhere there is a flower, that's where a cucumber grows. Look at over here. Here's a dried up flower with a cucumber starting on it. Look how tiny it is. Eventually, in another week or so, that will grow into a full sized cucumber. Now, I'll talk a little bit about when to pick cucumbers. It's better to pick them at the ideal size. Here's a pickling type cucumber that's used for pickles. If you look at it, it's about the size that you'll see in a jar of pickles. Here's one that's oversized. You can see it's starting to turn kind of yellowish green, white. Inside the seeds will be hard and the cucumber will take, they have very little flavor. Actually tastes kind of yucky. Cucumber this size has very tiny seeds and uh, the whole thing is edible and very flavorful. So it's important to not wait too long in order to pick your cucumbers. Once they start growing, you can pick cucumbers every day. Hi, we're back into another part of the garden. Cucumbers should never be left to turn yellow like this. This is actual true ripening happening with a cucumber. They should always be picked green. When they begin turning yellow like this, the cucumber fruit starts sending uh, producing enzymes, it sends a message to the vines telling it to stop producing any more cucumbers. This fruit is telling the plant that we don't need to produce any more cucumbers because now I'm producing seeds and we could reproduce ourselves. We don't need to put any more energy into that. We will just make seeds. So if this was picked green, there would be many, many more cucumbers uh, growing on this plant particular plant does still have, still producing a couple of cucumbers, but not as many as it would if that cucumber was picked on time. Now in this garden, we see that the gardener planted some basil alongside the tomatoes. There's some thought that basil and tomatoes together are kind of companion plants. But what I want to show you here is the flowering happening, these flower stalks beginning uh, to grow on the basil plants. For fullest flavor and the best flavor, you should never let the uh, basil form flower stalks. The best thing to do is harvest basil periodically so that it doesn't have a chance to grow flower stalks. The, the flavor starts to go off a little bit and the same thing happening with a lot of other plants as it starts to flower it sends, uh, produces other enzymes, changes the flavor, um, and that's not what, we're, not what we like. For the highest quality, pick basil often, and uh, if you do come across flowers starting to happen, you can just pinch them off and just let them drop, and uh, that will help keep the plant nice and fresh. Right here, 
here we are in a different part of the garden. These plants you see here are cucumbers. Look at all the yellow flowers on them. Yellow flowers are the cucumber flowers. In order to produce a cucumber, you have to have a flower that gets pollinated first. You could probably see a lot of bees and other insects flying around these flowers trying to get the nectar in there. And when they do that, they move the pollen around and then end up pollinating the flower. So it's important to never spray insecticides when plants are flowering because insecticide kill all insects, not just the bad ones, they will also kill the good ones. So if you spray insecticide when the blossoms are open, you will end up killing your, your good wild bees and your honeybees. So that's our tip for today, never spray insecticides when any plant is in flower.